Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks, which I've been completely obsessed with, as you can probably tell. And I'm also obsessed with the fact that they have a magnetic packaging, making them very addicting to just I did end up vlogging the day that I went to Sephora and purchased Fenty Beauty for the first time. I did end up getting one of the matchstick trios, so that's how I got my little collection <laughs> started. But I will be picking up at least two more during the Sephora VIB sale coming up because I really do love them and I use them very, very often. If you followed my YouTube channel or my blog for a while, then it's no big secret that I do love makeup in stick format. I just really find them easy to work with, easy to travel, very versatile. A lot of the times these type of products will be very multi-purpose, so you can use them on, you know, your lips, cheeks, and eyes, or whatever it may be. And you guys already know that I do love the milk makeup, stick products, I do love the Bite Beauty Multi Stick as well as the Glossier Halo Scope. They're just really easy <laughs> products to work with and also, like I said, to travel with. When I do travel, I always end up taking makeup and stick, especially I haven't traveled by airplane recently, but if I were to, I would take these just because you don't have to check them in, in the little TSA bag because they're a stick product. So they're very, very easy to travel with. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I use these products. So I'm going to give you some of my opinions and also share with you a really quick and easy tutorial that you can do using the matchsticks. I also posted another video which was also like another, <laughs> another tutorial using the matchsticks. So if you want to check that out, I will link it down below in the information box as well as in the letter I here in the cards. So now without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. First things first, I need to pull my hair back. Otherwise... These curls are gonna get all up in your business. I'm quickly going to prime the face using the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, so not Fenty Beauty, but still a stick. I'm going to be using the very first Match Sticks in Linen as foundation. They do have another shade that's a golden undertone. I forgot the name of it. I will put it right here on the screen, which I will be picking up during the Sephora BIB sale just because it's a much better color for me if I want to use it as foundation. But I'm going to be using this as foundation. It's a little bit more cool, kind of a neutral cool color. But I mean, I can make it work. It's not that drastic where you would be like, oh, you're wearing the wrong shade of foundation. So you can kind of make it work, but I will be getting the other one just because it's a much better color for me. So I'm just going to begin striping it on the face. As you can see, the color is slightly pinkier than my natural skin tone, but this is what I have to work with for right now. I will be picking up the other color, as I said. I'm now using a buffing brush. This one is from Lab, Lab to Beauty. I'm going to just blend blend everything out. So this particular matchstick has a cream to powder formula. It is a matte finish, so it works really well for people with oily skin. I have I have talked to a few people that have drier skin and they feel like this formula is a little bit drying, especially if you don't prime the face. But if you happen to have oily skin or combination skin like myself, then I think you're really going to enjoy this product. I will be using just a little bit more to conceal. I have blemishes and my skin right now is just going crazy. It's been really, really hot, excessively hot here in San Diego and very dry. So my skin is just going all kinds of crazy. So if you wanted something very sheer for every day, you can do that. If you did want to layer it to like a medium coverage, you can easily do that as well, which I really, really like. And I just noticed this foundation is looking a lot pinker on camera than it is in person. In person, it's more of a kind of like a true neutral. And camera is looking quite pink, so I apologize for that. Now I'm going to be using the Match Sticks in Amber to contour. This is the lightest contour shade that they have. Obviously, since this is one of their matte Match Sticks, if you are, or if you have a skin tone similar to this, you could use this one as foundation, but for me, this would be my contour color. It is a cool undertone, so as you can see, it does kind of have 
a slight grayish tone to it. I thought it was going to be a lot grayer when I first swatched it, but on the skin, once you blend it out, it kind of warms up a little bit. I also like using it to contour my nose a little bit, so like putting just a tiny bit down there. And I'm going to be using the same brush, so just the buffing brush to blend everything out. This formula just blends out so seamlessly. It takes a while for it to like dry into a powder, which is good because it allows you a lot of time to just blend things out and get a really nice like gradient. So you can see once you blend it out, this color isn't as gray as it seems when you first swatch it. So it actually gives you a little a little warmth, but I will be getting like a more warmer color so I can bronze the skin a little bit better. Now I'm going to be using Yacht Life as my blush. And this color reminds me a lot of NARS Orgasm because it does have that kind of um, warm corally but with a gold shimmer to it. Once you do blend it out, this isn't as shimmery or at least I blend it out to the point where it isn't super shimmery on the skin. But I've been really liking this. To blend it out, I'm going to use the same brush just because I want to prove to you guys how easy it is to blend these out. You could use your fingers, you could use a beauty blender, any type of brush, but I just like doing everything with one with one brush. I also like doing a little bit of the blush, whatever's left on the brush, just on the bridge of the nose. Now moving on to the eyes, if you do plan on using the Fenty Beauty matchsticks on the eyes, please take into consideration that these are not smudge proof, they're not crease proof, they will fade, they will crease just because they're not meant to be those things. So these are very creamy, they will dry to almost like a powdery finish, but they're, like I said, they're not, they won't set themselves basically. You can use an eyeshadow primer that will prevent a little bit of creasing but not completely. You still will get a little bit of creasing but personally as I've gotten older I don't mind a little bit of creasing. I can just kind of like lightly tap on my eyelid just to fix the creasing problem and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I do like using the Fenty Beauty matchsticks on the eyes the same way that I enjoy using the Milk Makeup holographic sticks on my eyelids so they do crease but I'm totally okay with it. Going to start off with linen all over the eyelid. I'm just going to be using my finger. This is going to even out the tone on my eyelid. Now I'm taking amber on a synthetic crease brush. This one is from Lab Squared and I'm going to be applying this on the crease but mostly just on like the outer portion of the crease. Now I'm going to grab Yacht Life on a synthetic paddle shape brush. This one is from e.l.f. Studio and I'm going to pack it on the mobile eyelid. Just like so. Using the clean side of the same brush, I'm going to grab Starstruck, which is the lightest shade that I have, which I often use to highlight. And I'm going to be applying this on the center of the eyelid, just to give a little bit more luminosity in the center. And I'm also going to be putting this right in the inner corner of the eye, because I really like the way this particular shade looks in the inner corner. I'm going to grab a little bit more of amber, just focus it more on the outer portion of the lid. My favorite thing about working with cream products on the eyes is that they all the shades just melt together so seamlessly you really don't have to struggle with blending out or anything. It's just so so simple. Another thing that I do love about the matchsticks is that these don't dry completely so if you see like a little blemish or something still peeking through you can go in with just a little bit more product and it won't disturb what you already have on your face. Another thing you can do with the matchsticks is create your own color. So let's say I wanted something lighter than amber. You can just grab amber, take some on the back of your hand, grab a little bit of linen, and start mixing them in 
And there you go, you have yourself a lighter shade of contour if you did want to do that. You can also mix, let's say, amber with, let's grab a little bit of Yacht Life, if I can find it, and you can almost create a warm tone shimmery bronzer out of it. Now I'm going to grab Starstruck and I'm going to be applying this as my highlighter. I'm going to do it just a little bit thicker so it's more visible through the camera. I'm just going to use my finger to blend it out. This highlighter is not like the Halo Scope. It's not going to give you that wet look. This is a little on the shimmery side. I do wish there was something more light and opalescent than this one. Starstruck is the lightest highlighter shade that they have and sometimes it can pull a little pink on me. So take that into consideration. But if you have a darker complexion than I do, they have some amazing shades. Amazing shade. The iridescent purple is really pretty. But I don't want to get it just because I do already own the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick. But they do have some incredible shades. Once again, you could use these when, wherever you want. On top of the cupid's bow. Down the nose if you did want that shimmer on the eyes like I did. So it's very multi-purpose once again. And such a pretty highlighter. And you can set right over the blush and highlighter, you still will catch the light really well. And last but not least, I'm going to be using one of the matchsticks on my lips. The only one that I have that would make a decent lip color would be Yacht Life. The other shades I would not dare to put on my lips, especially not linen, unless I want to go for a dead look. So I'm going to be applying this on my lips. So I don't love this on my lips. It looks very reflective, but it also makes my lips look a little bit dry. So I think if I were to use these on the lips, it would just be like a little highlight in the center of the lip, but I really do not like this on the lip. It also feels, since it does have that cream to powder formula, it just feels a little little gritty. I don't know. I don't like it. I really don't like it on the lips at all. I now added an actual lipstick so I'm gonna try to just pop a little bit of Yacht Life right to the center of the lip and see how that goes. I like it much better <laughs> than applying it as a lipstick. I would not recommend applying it as a lipstick but apart from that you can use it as foundation, as concealer, as cream highlight, cream contour, cream eyeshadow, cream highlighter, cream blush. So they do have a lot of great uses just maybe don't apply them as lipsticks. <laughs> I do really like the cream to powder formula. I find them very easy to blend. They last really well even on my oily skin. If you do have drier skin I would pair this with a good moisturizer as well as a hydrating primer. See how that goes but if you have combination to oily skin and you typically have struggled with cream products in the past these ones are really great options for you. They do have quite a nice shade range. They don't have such an extensive shade range like they do with their liquid foundation but I do find that it's very decent actually for a cream product. So like I said before I will be picking up the shade that's the closest to my skin <laughs> so I can use it as foundation because this is a little bit on the pinkier side. Too pinky for my taste but I mean you can make it work. You can make it work. <laughs> it's not super bad but again it's not my skin tone. I do absolutely love the packaging. It would work well for traveling and it would also work really well if you are a freelance makeup artist just because you would be keeping all of these together all clustered in one. They won't be rolling around in your kit or your makeup bag so they're very convenient and also they look so nice and sleek so I really enjoy that as well. So overall, I have very few cons. Maybe just don't apply it as a lipstick. They're not crease proof if you, you know, put them on the eye. If you were to see my eyelid, it's already creasing just slightly right here. But 
I don't really care <laughs> too much. So if you do happen to use them on the eyes, just take into consideration they're not a budge proof, crease proof, long wear cream eyeshadow. They're not marketed to be that, so that you you will get a little bit of creasing, but they're just they're really good. They're really, really good. And I think they're priced really well. They're $25 each. If you do happen to get one of those trios and it's like 56 or so, so you get almost like two for the price of one, which is really, really great. So I would highly recommend the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. I will be reviewing the foundation that I did pick up very soon so I can share with you my experiences with the foundation as someone with oily skin. So be on the lookout for that. If you've tried anything from Fenty Beauty, let me know in the comments below. If you happen to be new to this channel, please take the moment to subscribe to see brand new content from me and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! And this is the finished look. I don't know what I was going for, but I'm digging it. It's a little electric blue, a little reflector, and a lot of highlighter. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh my god, I hope you guys like this look as much as I do. If not, then 